Hello and welcome to Hornbill TV. I am Paula Misen and now the news in headlines. The state funeral will be accorded to former Speaker of Nagaland Legislative Assembly Dr. Inti Wapang Ayer in Kohima at 1 p.m. Dr. Ayer passed away this morning in Dimapur after a brave illness. PDF member and cabinet minister Hamletson Doling joined the NPP on Saturday in the presence of Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, Rajya Sabha member W.R. Karluki, cabinet minister Sneha Bhalangdhar and other senior party leaders. Forty-three cadres of different underground groups, including a female cadre, led down arms before Manipur Chief Minister N. Birin Singh today at the Banquet Hall of the first Manipur Rifles in Imphal. Assam's Kokrajhar police have arrested former MLA Hitesh Bastumatari along with two others after arms and ammunition were recovered from his residence. Now the news in detail. The mortal remains of the former Speaker of Nagaland Legislative Assembly and MLA-elect from 23 Impur Assembly constituency, Dr. Imti Wapang Ayer, who passed away this morning in Dimapur, has been taken to Kohima. The state funeral will be accorded to the MLA in Kohima at 1 p.m. by the government of Nagaland, after which the remains will be taken to his native place, Sungratsu, in Mokokchong district for burial. Dr. Ayer was 49 years old. He left behind his wife, four daughters and one son. Our sorrow has been made more acute by the fact that our leader has not been feeling well for some time. We could not give him company. Only his near and dear ones were there to give him company. We should have, and we could have thrown by side to give him whatever solace we might have been able to give him. But alas, we have to be satisfied to stand here today to express our angers distress and limitation by the side of his mortal remains. If only we could have shared with him love, our esteem appreciation when he could have heard us, understood us and felt us. If only we could have told him that when he was alive, how much we cared for him, how greatly we appreciate him. 
Dr. Ayer left his academic career to join politics and was elected as Congress candidate from Impur Assembly constituency under Mokokchong district in 2013 state elections. Having been elected with the Congress party, Ayer was initially an opposition MLA. However, in 2015, he along with seven other Congress MLAs merged with the ruling Naga People's Front and was subsequently appointed as a parliamentary secretary for geology and mining. He also served as a speaker in the 12th NLA in 2016. In 2018, Ayer contested as NPF candidate and got elected. In 2022, along with other 20 NPF MLAs, he merged the Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party. The Nagaland Police today organized farewell parade for the outgoing Director General of Police Nagaland T. John Longkumer at NAPTC Chumukidima on January 7th. Longkumer has resigned from the post of DGP following his service extension rule. Longkumer has served the state DGP for four years and six months. Speaking on the occasion, the outgoing DGP expressed gratefulness to the Government of India and Nagaland for the confidence repost in him by extending his service in public interest by six months beyond his superannuation. He also thanked all officers and all ranks of the Nagaland Police Department for the support and cooperation throughout his tenure. He also said that he gave his best effort to contribute to the public service as an IPS officer. Respected ADG, Mr. Enchamo Kikon, all senior, all senior officers, men and women of Nagaland Police, dear Jawans of the Nagaland Police, my family members are here. My respected village elders are here. My respected community elders are here. I have today voluntarily retired after consultations with the best and my senior advisors. And I do so for two simple reasons. Step down on my own terms and to step away from certain legal complications that could have differentially impacted a lot of people, including the government of Nana. By doing so again, I feel that I'm keeping up with my own tradition of sudden life-changing decisions that has dotted my entire career. And here I am, the happiest man on this planet. I feel so very blessed in my deepest humility 
I sincerely thank all of you of the Netherlands Police Fraternity for this beautiful and heartwarming farewell parade. And as usual, with Netherlands Police, the parade was outstanding. Shabash, Netherlands Police. For me, this is hallowed ground for me. And my farewell on this very ground is as emotional and as inspiring for me. My stint here as a DGP has brought me closer to the legend of Nagaland police. And here I've seen true professionalism, true grit, and the resilience of Nagaland police. I am so very proud to be associated with all of you. In fact, my association with the Nagaland police officers, men and women, has made me more bolder, more fiercer, and has brought out the true warrior in me. And I know today that this is the true measure of Nagaland police. And I would like to call ourselves the Band of Warriors. And I think this is the nickname I would like to leave behind. PDF member and cabinet minister Hamletson Doling joined the NPP on Saturday in the presence of Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, Rajya Sabha member W.R. Karluki, cabinet minister Sneha Bhalangdhar and other senior party leaders. Doling highlighted his initiative in the anti-uranium mining campaign and his endeavor for the implementation of inner line permit in Meghalaya. The former KSU leader along with all his supporters and leaders joined the MPP. He said now he will focus on development issues for his constituency and also highlighted that if voted to power, he will pursue with center the pending issues including ILP. Former PDF leaders Inval Lumlang Marbanang and Imlang Laitan also joined the party. The senior party member of the PDF, Kajing Ram Jopi, Ma Kublai Chibon, Kajing Rung Jopi, Piyo Isha de Gira, Sleku Takalove, Kamsa Vilay Brug Jopi. KMLS, KMDCs, Kiryu Nongbang, President, and the party workers, Iwai Pai Iwai Namar Kapame Kapoor. And today, Masa Koraki Sama has created a history in many persons, especially in Omega Novality. Within a short span of time, Koraki Sama has been here twice, three times. We have played the history by scoring a hat trick in this locality in Omlenka. Because three times they have come here in Omlenka. NPP National President Congress Sangma said leading the government with six collision partners and the independence was never an easy task as he highlighted the problems associated with collision politics in the state. Meanwhile, Sangma lauded the initiative of Doling for the inclusion of Umlinka, a census town under Jaljeevan mission. It gives me immense pleasure. It gives me great happiness to formally and officially welcome my dear friend and my colleague and your leader by Hamlet's and Darling, his entire family and all his leaders and supporters into the family of the National People's Party. I also take this opportunity 
to welcome Ba Ivan Barbarian, the former president of the PDF, Ba Emlang Litan, the former general secretary of the PDF, and Ba Dipson Rintatian, the former chief organizer of the PDF, and all the other leaders and supporters of the PDF and other political parties who have joined us here today and become a part of our family of the National People's Party. Behind me, you can see that the people here are dancing in the tune of NPP. Yes, we are here at Millennium Constituency and today the NPP MLA, NPP has declared its candidate for the Millennium Constituency and PDF MLA Hamlet Sundaling has joined NPP and people are very much enthusiastic about it and he has expressed confidence of winning this seat. Let's see when he fights against Ronnie Willingdo of Congress who wins actually. From Shillong, I'm Purvasha Bhattacharya reporting for Hornbill TV. 43 cadres of different underground groups, including a female cadre, laid down arms before Manipur Chief Minister N. Birain Singh today at the banquet hall of the first Manipur Rifles in Imphal. The 43 cadres of different underground groups include 13 cadres of the KYKL, 5 from PLA or RPF, 5 from KCPN, 11 from KCP, 5 from UNLF, 1 from Prepac, 2 from Prepac Pro and 1 from the NSCNU. Weapons and gadgets that were surrendered included 19 arms consisting of AK series rifles, pistols, hand grenades, handheld sets, IED and live ammunition among others. Attending the function as the chief guest, Burain Singh said confidence and trust building are the keys to a strong and united Manipur and India. He said the government keeps its door wide open at all times for anyone willing to give up arms and join the mainstream. I, on behalf of the state government, I took a expert direction given by the Honorable Union Home Minister Amishashi. I'm inviting all of you, please, Tokiro, homecoming, Yum the Lakio, Arele, the Koi Fajana Tanar Kanda, Akanba Bharatama, Akanba Manipurama, United Manipurama, United Bharat, United India, Strong India. Same with the Madin Bambi or the Lehori Christian Lama, I am the Soya Akil Tokjari. The revised scheme for surrender and rehabilitation of militants in the Northeast states 2018 of the Union Ministry of Home Affairs include a one-time financial grant of Rs 4 lakh each. The amount is to be kept in a bank in their names as fixed deposit for a period of three years. They were also paid a monthly stipend of Rs 6,000 per person additionally with incentives for surrendered weapons. The surrendered cadres will stay in a rehabilitation camp for three years. Meghalaya BJP launches anti-drugs campaign in West Shillong constituency on Saturday. Calling the area as most affected, state BJP President Ernest Maury said the anti-drugs rally is being organized from Maoba to Nongsopo, Gorkha, Patshala school ground. Several women volunteers participated in the event. Maury said this is not a mere election issue but the program will continue even after elections are over to eradicate the menace of drugs from this 18 West constituency and the state as a whole. Proximity to the Golden Triangle makes Meghalaya susceptible to drug menace. Meghalaya being near the Golden Triangle, an opium-producing area of SE Asia comprising parts of Myanmar, Laos and Thailand is more susceptible to the menace of drug abuse due to the easy availability of drugs. He said BJP as a party has taken up initiatives to eradicate drugs. The party will organize more such programs to educate people, particularly youths, not to take drugs. Uh, actually, we have taken a decision from our state BGP to organize this rally anti-drug campaign. And we have decided to take this campaign in this 18 West Shillong because it is the most affected area of drug addict here. And that's why we have launched 
this program it is not for the election even after election also this program will go on to eradicate the drugs from this 18 west constituency and from the state as a whole uh, BGP only is the past political party has been taken initiative to eradicate drugs. This decision has taken not only from the state, even from central leader Amit Shahji has come to Kauti and he has crashed 40,000 drugs which were seized by the police and the narcotic branch. So this program will take the whole north part of the north state, even in our state, because the drug now has reached even to the district where we are very surprised in the southwest castle and some interior part. So to eradicate this one, we have started our campaign today from 18 West Shillong. We are creating awareness to the people and we are trying to help our youth not to involve or not to fall in the trap of drug addict. This is just a starting. So we'll do it more program to educate the people not to involve in the drug addict. Because drug addict, it kills the family, the society, the, even the church, everybody is affected. So this is the good step taken by the BGP. Only the BGP party has taken this step to eradicate drugs. You can say that the state BJP has organized this drugs rally and at the same time they are asking people to vote for them. With just barely one month left for the poll, people here are anxious what who will form the government and which government will be formed in post-2023. But as of now, we are here at BJP rally and they are saying eradicate drugs, say no to drugs. BJP has taken up a unique slogan, say no to drugs. At the same time, they are asking people, not only from this, uh, this West Shillong constituency, from other constituencies also, to vote for them. From Shillong, I'm Purvasha Bhattacharji from Hornbill TV. In a major development, Assam's Kokrajhar police have arrested former MLA Hitesh Basumatari after arms and ammunition were recovered from his residence. During search operation, police recovered one AK-47 and one M-16 rifle from his residence. Basumatari has been taken into police custody and interrogation is underway at Kokrajhar Sadar Police Station. Apart from Hitesh Basumatari, two other persons have also been held in this connection. Executive President of Boroland, Jatya Saruksh Manch Daurao Ishreb Narzari and Boroland Kontark Association President Vikram Daimari have been lodged at Kokrajhar Sadar Police Station at Sadar Police Station. Boroland Contractors Association President Vikram Daimari and BPF leader and former MLA Hitesh Basumatari were also detained by the police. Rajkumar's <laughs> इसके बाद मेरे हस्बैंड ने फोन आया ये सोए करके कल आया तो दस साल जन तो हो गए और रास्ते में भी था रास्ता हमारे तो नहीं था हमारे रूम कितना है कौन कौन रहता है ये सब कुछ पर हम तो फर्स्ट टाइम मुझे लेके तो लेके रूम तो देखा तब तो नहीं मिला था इसके बाद और वो काउंसिल तीन आदमी लेके आए 
That was all the news for this hour's bulletin. Thank you for watching Hornbill TV and stay tuned for more news and updates.